Me Miner here. If you like rock tumbling, I think I have a treat for you. Come join me. I've got an empty three pound rock tumbling barrel. I want to do a rather special project. My first bag of rock is Mucalite Jasper. It was $25 Canadian and it weighs one and a half pounds. This is one of my favorite Jaspers because of the variation in color. Typically, it's from Western Australia, also known as Mookite or Mook Jasper. Now, what you'll notice is these things are fairly large relative to the size of the barrel I'm using. They would not effectively roll, in which case they wouldn't effectively round or polish. The next step is to preform them so they do fit the tumbler. You want to have a variety of sizes in your tumble. Here is one and a half pounds of rock in my three pound barrel. And you can see it's about half full. When I make these into smaller pieces, it'll probably be about one third full. Three pounds of this kind of rock will fill the barrel about two thirds, which is perfect for a good tumble. Any more and the rocks won't roll properly. Any less than half and again they won't roll properly. Here is the second bag. It's polychrome jasper. This is typically from Madagascar. It's also known as desert jasper or royal savanna jasper. It cost me $23 for the bag. And again, they're a little too large for what I want to do or for my tumbler. The easiest way of turning these bigger rocks into smaller rocks is to hit them with a the rock hammer. The other method I have been known to use is to cut them on the tile saw. For some, an obvious issue using a saw is all of the cuts are straight. If you prefer a natural or random look to your rocks, then a hammer is probably the way to go. I sometimes use the side of the saw blade to rough shape the rock. So there's what we're starting with. A variety of shapes and sizes. Some I did on the saw, some I just broke. Everything from pea size, where's the pea size? There we go. To, there's the largest one right there. Let's get them in the tumbler. Add the grit. Add some water. And more we'll rock and roll. And there's a little backstory I should explain. There is a company called Polyplastics in the US that's well regarded, but they don't ship to Canada. I got hold of them and they made an exception for me. So what we got is a mixed sizing of ceramic media. This is one and a half pounds. And I like the look of this stuff. I've been using stuff like this, but that would get into some of the cracks and grooves. You like? I like. I like that a lot. I don't usually use media at the beginning of my tumbles. It's more towards the end as the barrel gets closer to half full. So we'll save that. Some plastic tumbler pellets. Nice! Instructions and a variety of grits. So here's what's in the kit. Step one, coarse 60 grit silicon carbide. Step two, medium grit 180 to 20. Step three, 500 grit. And for the final polish, 1200 grit aluminum oxide. I do like that they identify what the grit is. Some of the suppliers do not. 
they gave me some instructions basically everything you need to know RTFM eh? so this step which is step one course is clean your tumbler I've done that fill your barrel about two-thirds full with rocks if you have to make up the difference use plastic pellets or ceramic media what they're suggesting is two tablespoons per pound of rock they run the tumbler for seven days button her up and we're ready to rock and roll top of spaghetti all covered with cheese I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed it rolled off the table and onto the floor and then my poor meatball rolled out of the door it rolled in the garden and under a bush and then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. So, how many of you sang along? <laughs> My tumbler didn't really run away on me. So now it's time to get serious, look at the rocks, clean them up, get them into the next step. Just to show you, I've captured some of the slurry from the stage one. Here's after a few minutes of settling out. See that? Forms like a concrete in the bottom. It just doesn't wash out. You don't want that in your plumbing. There's the rocks dry. Get them into the tumbler. Once again, clear, clean water right to the bottom of the top row of rocks. One eighty two twenty grit silicon carbide. And then when this shakes down, we're still well above half, really approaching two thirds, so I don't have to add any filler. Same amount of the medium grit as we had earlier, so it's six tablespoons for three pounds of rock. Button it up and we'll let it run for a week. So my dogs miss me. Our fancy Jasper has been running for nine days. I've been away, so I haven't had a chance to even peek at it. Let's take a look to confirm the amount of rounding that we wanted is done. And then we'll put it into stage three, which is pre-polish. Daisy. So let's get at it. And we'll have some fun. Now the great reveal. So after thoroughly cleaning the rocks, you want to inspect them and make sure none have any cracks, grooves, little sharp points that might scratch other rocks or contain dirt from a previous round. In fact, I'll show you a little trick that I do in this stage and the next. That's going to be a beautiful rock, eh? Wow.
See how that one has a little mark on it? Yeah, I'm not happy with that one either. I will save it and run it again in stage one, stage two polish and try to eliminate that. That one's broken on the end, set it aside. And those ones are too wee to keep. And just to show you, this is what some of the rocks look like when they're dry, coming out of stage two, wet, they're looking pretty nice, and that's what they'll look like after polish, but dry, you can see they need more work. The barrel is still over half full, so I don't have to add any media, any tumbler media, which would be plastic beads or ceramic. I think I will in this round just to offer some additional cushioning. The trick with ceramic media is in stage three and four, make sure it's been run in a tumble before. This is what brand new media looks like. You don't want any little sharp edges that are on the ceramics to scratch these rocks and the edges are sharp. Run them once, grind them down a bit, and you'll have a, a more satisfactory result. This is what used media looks like. See how the edges are softer? Those won't scratch your rocks. And as promised, I'll show you a little trick that I use I think these rocks and barrel are perfectly clean. I'll add some media, some tumbler media, just to top up the barrel to three quarters. Clean fresh water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to button this up, let it run for about 20 minutes on the tumbler, and then clean it again. That's my little trick. It makes sure that they really are clean. And I'm not contaminating the run with grits from previous rounds. See you in a bit. Now we've confirmed the barrel and the tumbler media are clean, clean, clean. So we add our pre-polish, which is 500 grit silicon carbide. I have about three pounds of rock, so I put about three tablespoons into the tumbler. Now it probably makes sense, but I'll say it anyway. If you were reusing your spoon from the previous grit, make sure it's washed. <laughs> Again, you don't want any contamination in here. Add clean water, just below the level of the rocks. And we'll see you in a week. Oh, that's a great, great, great. Okay. It's now two weeks later. I was away for most of it, so I just let the tumbler run. Stage three is completed. Let's quickly take a look and get these bad boys into polish. I clean rocks in clean water, and then we'll let it run for 20 minutes. We are going to make sure these things are clean, clean, clean. There's a few of the rocks dry, and you can see they're still not polished. That's what it looks like wet, dry, wet, dry. So everything nice and clean, fresh water, put the dry rocks back in, 
one tablespoon of polish for every pound of rock. We have three pounds of rock. So three tablespoons. For some additional cushioning, I will put in some plastic tumbler beads. Let it run a week. And here we go. It's actually been about 10 days. A little longer than I wanted to run it without peaking. But I think we'll be okay because this is a polished stage. They don't grind down any further. But they should be well polished. Here's the great reveal. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I'll clean them up. I'll show you dry on a few. And then we'll burnish for the final step. Okay, so for burnishing, I'm just using ivory soap. I have the bar. And it flakes really nicely with a cheese grater. Burnishing is really the rubbing of the rocks on each other and washing off any remaining polish that may be causing them to get dull when dry. You don't have to do it this way. You could take each rock individually and rub it vigorously on a soft cloth, but this is easier. I'll let the tumbler run in burnishing overnight you can actually get away with probably anything greater than three hours is optimum I think that's good enough here are my clean rocks and water put in the soap powder this is what the dried rocks look like They are pretty shiny, but let me just take this one as an example. I'm going to rub it just on my jeans. We can see if there's any noticeable improvement. Yeah, there is. See that? Oh, this is going to be nice. Let's get them back onto the tumbler, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good to go. Well, the moment of the great reckoning is here. And without further ado, let's open this tumbler and see what the rocks look like. All right, last step is a good rinse with hot water. The reason for hot is it will warm the rocks up and so they'll dry quickly and with less like water spots on them. Of course the reason for a good rinse is to get rid of the soap. Let's do that. I'll let them dry off. sunshine. Well, it's cloudy and in fact it might rain. So there's no sunshine to show these rocks off in. But that's okay. They'll look just marvy the way they are. Well, there's my rocks. Now I have an empty tumbler. It's time to fill it up. I can't say which one's my favorite. But that might be it. Oh, I do like that. I think they came out rather like candy. <laughs> Mr. Toady likes them too. <laughs> Where are you, Mr. Toad?
There he is. And one last thing to show you. My lovely bride has started to play with the rocks. <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching. We'll do it again soon.